Hi guys, I'm Nicola Bishop. I'm going to take you through a soak off. You'll need some acetone, some files, cuticle oil. You'll need some old nippers if you've got diamantes on, some tip cutters, a cuticle pusher, lukewarm water, and your soak off dish. So now I'm just trying to get all these diamantes off. These old diamante nippers are all bent and not very good at cuticles. So make sure you keep them separate from your normal nippers. So that's it, they're all off. I'm now gonna cut the length down. Now be careful when you go into these, nip, these tip cutters because the blade needs to be towards you. You do not wanna cut the client's finger. Also, at the back of our nail, we have something called a hypernicium. So you need to be careful that you don't snip through that. So make sure you check behind the client's nails that their hypernicium hasn't grown out with the nail tip. Now what I'm doing is I'm removing the shine with a 100 grit file. Most top coats, including glitter bells, is acetone resistant. So you do need to file through that top coat. But whilst I'm doing this, I put some pressure down to make sure I re remove some of that bulk at the same time, saving that soaking process. So that's it, we're ready to soak. So I'm popping the water into the holder at the bottom of the soak off pot. This water needs to be warm. It needs to be bath temperature where you can just put your toe in and gradually get in. Make sure it's not boiling because you can scold the client. Gonna pop the pure acetone very carefully into those holes. Make sure you don't melt anything. It does melt plastic. So don't pour the acetone down your sink after I pour it out somewhere safe. After 10 minutes, remove the nails, wipe over with kitchen towel first to remove any excess. I then get my old cuticle pusher, push off the excess acrylic. Being quite firm to remove all that. And then I repeat the filing process, putting that pressure on to remove any bulk so soak off time is shorter. And then I repeat the process for a further 10 minutes. Make sure your client doesn't take her hand in and out while soaking. This will stop the soaking process and the acrylic can even go hard again. And again, repeat that process, cuticle pusher, pushing the excess acrylic off. Careful not to damage that nail. and then repeat the filing process. I find sometimes the thumb seems to take longer to get off than the rest of the nails. So just repeat that soaking process. If you're unsure whether you've got all the acrylic off, a good little tip is pop your nails back in the acetone and take them out really quickly. Acetone dehydrates your natural nail. So if you pop them in and take them out really quickly, as you look at them, you'll see the natural nail goes frosty, but if there's acrylic still on there, you will see some shiny bits. So back in for another 10 minutes, and then we're coming out again, giving them a wipe over, and another scrape. And there's the stubborn thumb, always takes a bit longer. 
and then repeat the filing process again just to remove the excess. At this stage, majority of the acrylic is off, so please be careful how you file. Be aware that you're not going to go through that nail plate and watch exactly where that corner of that file goes. So I've just popped mine back in for a little bit longer for that thumb. So normally a soak off would take about 30 minutes if the water's warm enough and you file down short enough. To save time on this process as well, I would recommend definitely doing an electric file course because this will speed up the process as you can take a lot of bulk off prior to soak. If a client wants to keep their length under their nails, please ask them if they want their tips cutting off before you do so. Um, Cause if you do, you're gonna cut their length off and you'll have a very upset client. Okay, once you're happy with the soak off and you're aware that you've got it all off, use our Glitter Bells Cuter Coil, I'm using pineapple here, and just drench the nails in that cuter coil. Acetone is very dehydrating, so we need to put that hydration back into the nail, because a healthy nail is better for nail extensions. If you're gonna put nail extensions on straight after, remove this stage and just go straight in with your prep. there we are girls so this is the soak off healthy nails acrylic all off i hope you've enjoyed my video and i'll see you all soon